Yo, yo, what up, my beautiful dowdies? How's everyone doing today? I'm your host, Fowl. Let's talk about Boot Hill. Is Boot Hill already being power crept two weeks after he got released? I think the Firefly versus Boot Hill train started immediately after we really got to know what Firefly's kit does. Boot Hill was the first character released that really, like, took the break meta to the next level. The Harmony Trailblazer got released and then we got to know about Super Break and Super Break changed the perspective of Break compositions completely. Break was already really good before Super Break but people didn't really know about it and because of the Harmony Trailblazer everyone's eyes got opened and all of a sudden completely new team compositions were born. And Bootail is the first limited 5 star character that came out in Honkai Styro that really synergizes well around Break, the first DPS. Everyone was enjoying Boot Hill. His kit is really cool. He can apply a physical weakness with his ultimate. And he just does a lot of good single target DPS. But then, a few weeks after, you know, the next band that is coming up is going to be Firefly. And people already instantly are speculating that Firefly is way better than Boot Hill. And Firefly is going to be way better break DPS overall. And there's a few reasons for that. Of course, the first reason is that Firefly has her own super break in her kit. And the other thing is that Firefly is Blast and Boot Hill is the Hunt Path. You know, he's a single target damage. And I think the Hunt from get-go, you know, from the start of the game, always was a little bit in an awkward position because all the Blast damage was considered better because you could get away with way more stuff. And Hunt is always one step behind or people treat it that way. It's less popular because of that. Of course, we got Zayl in the beginning. Then we got the Dr. Ratio. And even though they're still like respectable of their field, especially Dr. Ratio with the follow-up synergies, a lot of people find more comfort and more success in the AoE type damage. Because it's easier to pull off. You have way more consistent damage and you can clear multiple enemies at once which is that's the biggest one and firefly is going to be the destruction fire character firefly also has the ability to apply weakness on the enemy her fire weakness she can do it with her technique and then her enhanced form can also apply with the skill and stuff there are a lot of ways around the fire weakness if you're up against enemies that are not fire weak firefly is going to be very very consistent with applying the fire weakness and being able to break everything consistently and that's why on top of that she's going to be an extremely free to play friendly character whatever you're up against you know she can clear and then the she can just break all the shields which is a very very consistent damage now the similarities are that they're both break characters and both break i think the break meta why it's so strong and why break characters are really strong in general it's because of the way you have to build them. It's not crit-based damage dealing. And crit-based damage dealing is very fun and very good. But you need to farm substats, main stats, and you have to hit all of those. And you are, you know, your crit is always a little bit hard to build. Because you need to get lucky, you need to farm a lot, and you need a good ratio on top of that. Break and attack percentage or DOT, you know, all of these compositions that are not around crit rate are always very good and free to play friendly because you have another scaling where your damage comes from. And Boot Hill also, in my opinion, is also a pretty good character for that because he also scales with break. And he also has even traces built in where he increases his crit rate, crit damage for an amount of break effect that he has. By an amount of equal to 10% to 50% of break effect up to a max increase of 30 to 150. So he still has that crit capability. But Firefly also throws this out of the window completely. Not saying that you couldn't do it, but... She just scales only with break effect and speed and attack percentage. And attack percentage is the big one. Because attack percentage is even easier to get than maybe some leftover crit for boot tail. And Firefly wins out with that as well. For every specific amount of Sam's attack the, that exceeds a certain amount increases this unit's break effect by a certain percentage. Attack percentage are on the light cones everywhere. You know, you just have flat attack and attack percentage on the substats. You have speed. I think overall, the Firefly capabilities are just better and one step ahead of Boot Hill. And I think that this is why it's a little bit awkward. This doesn't mean that Boot Hill is bad or that if you pull for Boot Hill, now you lose, you know, like, oh, you should have skipped Boot Hill and pulled for Firefly. No, Boot Hill does his job very well and Boot Hill is an extremely good character and a very good break DPS. It's just a little bit sad to see that two to three weeks after, there's going to be just a better version 
of a break DPS. And I think that's a bit rough. And I think that's why Buto is just in a very awkward position. I think the overall light cone options for Firefly are just way better. You know, the free to play aspect of it. I think the overall Eidolons are better. Signature light cone is pretty good as well. You know, but the signature light cone is always just signature light cone. I don't think that that's that much comparing in there. It's just what they do and they do it very well. And then the team compositions is also kind of the same, right? Because you just want the Harmony Trailblazer on both, even though Firefly already has the super break in her kit or a version of it it's still very recommended to put Harmony Trailblazer in there. Then you have probably like a Ron May or a Gallagher, and then you Bootail and Firefly are probably going to have the same team set up. It's not like they're that much different, but you can do like different stuff with it. There's like the Branya argument where because you want Firefly to attack rapidly and she enhances herself forward with Branya, you could just make a very consistent 100% action forward to, to have a consistent uptime on, on your combustion state you know so and Buto probably also has a lot of strategy there but firefly just has a little bit more and a little bit better and one step ahead of boot hill from the start of a release even though boot hill is good and boot hill works you're still going to have a better time if you're playing firefly it is what it is i think general the game is just a little bit more favored towards destruction characters there's just some situations where just boot hill being a hunt character is just a little bit awkward you know and i hope this is going to change and i still hope that we're really going to get a full-on hunt end game mode the new apocalyptic shadow there we still have to see if it's actually friendly towards hunt because we do get these bosses but they're not like they're not like specially made for hunt they're just still the bosses and we still have to clear and a lot of these bosses spawn things you know have lesser things around them not that it matters that much hunt is still playable and it's still very good it's just that it is way easier to pull stuff off with destruction with blast with aoe look at ekaron right ekaron is the best dps in the game right now when firefly comes out that's for another video you know who's going to be better than from those two but ekaron still is going to be an apex predator even when firefly comes out she has so her just how her kit works when you get her online her damage is very very strong now the difference between ekaron and firefly is that firefly just comes online very fast and her damage is very good and very consistent. Acheron is just built around that two nihility character that you have to build. And then getting that ult uptime. Firefly works a similar way. It's just way easier because of course Acheron is still crit. And break effect as a whole is just very strong. Hey, pause the video right now. Over 90% of you people that watch my videos actually are not subscribed to my channel. It would mean a lot to me if you would actually consider subscribing. It's free and you can always change your mind after. Let's continue with the video. And I think also that's still why Boot Hill is just very good. Even if you have Boot Hill, don't be sad that, oh, Firefly is coming out. Firefly is stronger than Boot Hill in a lot of these little areas. And maybe in some areas like significantly stronger and significantly easier to build and significantly more flexible. But Boot Hill is still very good. It's the same concept we would take with Jing Liu, you know? Jing Liu you because there's better dps's out there doesn't mean that jing liu is bad maybe at some point in time jing liu is going to maybe be power crept so hard that she's kind of a little bit unusable but as of right now almost all characters work in this game if you put your heart and soul to it and a lot of characters are still very strong even though that other characters took their place and i think that's what happens in the long run all the time with power creep but because it happens so soon it's a bit rough and a bit like whoa hello i just pulled for this character why is not why there's a better character around the corner you know and i think that is a little bit what boot hill is struggling with right now it doesn't mean that you lost if you now pulled for boot hill it's just yeah fireflies around the corner and that it would have probably been a way better option for you as a free-to-play player or as a player as a whole that just are is looking to up their gameplay you know and I think that is a bit fast, in my opinion. I know it's a gacha game. Hey, it is what it is, guys. If you don't like Power Creep, you have to play a different game. But two weeks after, that's wild to me, you know? However, he's still very good. If you do have a boot tail and he's properly built and you have a good team, you know, Ron May is coming up. If you don't have Ron May yet, pick up a Ron May for your break compositions. Gallagher is going to be on that banner. So if you don't have Gallagher yet, you know, Pulling on the Run May Banner, we've talked about this on this channel as well. Phase 1 is crazy, right? Phase 1 is an insane to pull on. So much pull value. I still think it's the best banners that they put out. Five Line, Run May, and Phase 1. The Light Cone Banner as well. It's, it's insane how valuable it is to pull on these banners. So if you do have Boot Tail, and you're going to pick up Run May, maybe you're going to get Gallagher plus the Harmony Turbos, you're going to be in a very good ride. You're going to clear a lot of content. There's just a character along the way that just does it better, faster, stronger, and easier. And 
we all know and why that is. Because Firefly is Hoyover's baby right now, right? It's the favorite daughter. It's there, everything. And the community is eating it up as well. A lot, a lot of people really, really like Firefly. And they know and they're going to treat her like that. I can almost 100% guarantee you guys that when Firefly was still in the beta servers, you know, when they were tuning her and to see, okay, what do we do with this character? They were realizing this character's popular. Let's make her strong and let's make her good. And that's exactly what they did. Same with Ekron. Ekron was a fan favorite and they made her Giga broken as well. And Bootail was just not really in that boat. The boot was not in the boat, right? Because Bootail was cool. He, his animations are stunning. It is what it is. Firefly is just 10 times more popular than him. So she's going to get the special treatment. She's going to get the animation. She's going to get the long trailers. You know, like it, it, Bootil just got a, the normal treatment and Firefly is getting that special treatment. However, you can use them for a very long time. Unless the game changes in a certain way. Yet again, where Hunt just clearly is being shown to be like the weakest link in the weakest DPS. If Apocalyptic Shadow now, for instance, is so catered around Blast or AoE, then Hunt is losing again because we're already not using Hunt in Pure Fiction. And Hunt and MOC is good and it works, but how it the, how it feels sometimes is just better to use destruction characters there, right? Or even Nihility or Eurydition or whatever it is. Budo did change up the perspective for Hunt, you know? Buto did show what maybe a lot of other people forget is that he showed a way on like, huh, Hunt is actually quite good and we can use Boot Hill, clear a lot of content, and he's probably going to be good for a very long time. Even though he's going to get power creep already, he did show the capabilities and the potential of Hunt. And I really hope that they keep up this gameplay and this strength. Because it's really funny when we think about it. Right now, it is a little bit of a like, okay, how is this going to turn out, right? Because March 7th is going to get a new form, and she's going to be a Hunt imaginary character. And we already have a Hunt imaginary character, which is Dr. Ratio. I'm going to laugh really hard if the four-star March 7th new form is going to be a better DPS than Dr. Ratio. You know, there are going to be awkward moments in this game where you're like, bruh, really? Like, why? <laughs> you know, and that is gotcha. It is what it is. And that's why doing your research and really going for the characters that you want is going to help you out tremendously. If Bootil was your favorite character, you don't care about Firefly. You don't care that she's a little bit better or that she does a certain thing way faster or, or whatever it is, you know? You care about Bootil, you care about your cowboy, you care about the cool animations. That is why you win, and that is why it's so important. If you are meta slave and you care about big numbers, you don't care about the characters at all, yeah, then it's rough, right? Because then you're like, huh, I just pulled for Bootil, but three weeks after there was just something better that does the same thing that I already have right now. And that's why it's so important for gacha games to really pull for fun. Have fun in this game and have the best time and have fun with team building and farming and trying to make the best out of your characters that you love because there's always going to be a better character along the way there's always going to be a faster character a stronger character right now firefly is being talked about Ekron like Ekron gets firefly trust me guys along in a few months or a few weeks from now there might be even a dps is going to be even stronger than firefly and Ekron combined you know this is what this game is. Of course, there's as a bar. I don't think they can go over the bar where it would just be like you get one copy of a character and you can literally clear content with your eyes closed. I do think there's like a limit to it, but the limit has not been shown yet. And there's going to be new mechanics in the game and new things. So Break as a whole is very strong and that's why Bootil is still very good. Break is so dominant and so good and we get a free Harmony Trailblazer. It's so easy to access this. And that is why it's so strong as well. There's so many things that you can do with this comp. And a lot of characters that don't even have break in their kit or are built around break can be a break DPS because it's so efficient and super break is so strong. So always be on the look for new mechanics, new team building, new compositions. And there's always going to be something better. So don't be sad if Buto did get power crap two weeks after. He's not doomed. You can still have fun with him. And he's still going to clear content. And all of these characters work, guys. If you are a Arlon lover, there's people out there that destroy content with Arlon. Even though he's maybe the most more forgotten character in the game, you know, it is still possible and it's going to be new things. There's going to be new light, light cones, new characters. There's probably going to be a five-star Gallagher, maybe, you know, we have the four-star Gallagher right now that really enhances break and is a sustaining thing. There's probably going to be a new sustainer along the way 
not confirmed though, but that does Gallagher shenanigans, but then in a five-star version. And that's probably going to bring Boot Hill up. And that's probably going to bring Firefly even more up, you know? So don't be too sad and don't be too worried about this stuff. However, he did get beaten by Firefly already, which is a little bit sad to see two weeks in, but it is what it is. Don't worry, you're going to have a blast and he's very, very strong. And he's going to clear content because Break is very strong. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about the whole Boot Hill versus Firefly thing. You know, if Boot Hill got power crept by Firefly, if you don't think Firefly is stronger than Boot Hill at all, if you think there's no difference, if you think Firefly is better for other reasons, and let me know what you guys think about Boot Hill's position and situation as a whole. I would love to hear you guys take about this. And I really want to know from the Boot Hill havers, you know how... The situation is going because i don't have boot hill i would love to hear you guys stories or your experiences make sure to like and subscribe it really helps out the channel it means the world to me if you could do that make sure to join the discord we're trying to grow the community even further if you want to support the channel even further then become a member i love you all and have a wonderful day i'll see you on the next video take care peace